This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is 6.53, time to get you ready for your Wednesday with the Morning Sprint. Yeah, Mark Peterson following another day of high temperatures before a cool down heads our way. Destiny Richards is live at the White Elephant as it gets ready to close its doors this weekend. Yeah, plus, Olivia Roberts has changes ahead of the fall sports season for local athletes. But first, to some breaking news in Alaska this morning. A 7.8 magnitude earthquake off the coast of Alaska triggered a tsunami warning early this morning. It was in effect for for South Alaska and the peninsula. According to the National Weather Service, there was no threat to Hawaii or Washington or Oregon's coast. The earthquake quake was centered 60 miles south, southeast of Perryville. You can see it right there on the, on the corner there. And uh, is considered shallow at about six miles deep. All advisories and warnings have since been canceled. All right, good morning, everybody. In our first alert weather over the next 24 hours, some changes coming. It's mainly going to be later on today, actually tomorrow morning, that. You know, we've got just a, a beautiful circumstance of sunshine today, but then we get those clouds coming in in the early morning hours and a chance of showers as well. Right now we're sitting at 63. Our high is going to be 91 today. All right, now to look at how COVID-19 is spreading in Spokane County. 88 more people have been diagnosed with COVID-19 since Monday. 31 people remain hospitalized for treatment. Spokane County's death rate sits at 1.6% with 43 COVID-19 related deaths so far. Statewide, the death rate is 3%. The next update to these numbers will come this afternoon. Breaking news concerning a vaccine for the coronavirus. Drug maker Pfizer has reached a deal with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Department of Defense to provide 100 million doses of a COVID-19 vaccine free to the public when one is developed. The deal also allows the U.S. government to acquire an additional 500 million doses. Pfizer still needs to complete a large phase three clinical trial before taking the next step. The future of sports for many young athletes is still unclear, but now the WIAA is giving us a better idea of when some will be played. Instead of three seasons, the WIAA's new calendar is separated into four that will all be shorter than a normal year. Another big change, football, volleyball, and girls soccer now spring sports. That's because football is considered a high-risk sport. Practices can start February 22nd, and the season will go through the first week of May. Volleyball, girls soccer, and boys soccer are all in the moderate-risk category and will run from March to May. If all goes to plan, cross-country, slow-pitch softball, golf, and tennis are the only sports that will start practicing September 7th. We should get a better idea at how likely that is next week. Lawmakers in the House are expected to vote on legislation today to remove Confederate statues from the U.S. Capitol. The bill requires statues of people who voluntarily served the Confederacy, as well as three statues of men who defended slavery, segregation, and racism to be removed from the complex. The Senate also would have to pass the legislation for it to take effect. Republicans in that chamber have pushed back on congressional efforts to address the statues, saying states should make that decision. Looking ahead now, you can make your voice heard when it comes to the pan, uh, the pandemic response in North Idaho. Tomorrow, the Panhandle Health District will hold its Board of Health meeting at the Kootenai County Administration Building. On the agenda, the latest on the COVID-19 response. That meeting is open for public comment, but capacity is limited to 35 people to allow for proper physical distancing. That meeting will begin at 12.30 in the afternoon. Members of the Coeur d'Alene City Council voted to hold a special meeting Friday to discuss a citywide mask mandate. The discussion will take place if the Panhandle Health District doesn't take action on a countywide mask mandate at its own meeting tomorrow. After 74 years, the White Elephant is closing. The Spokane Valley location is already closed, but the North Division location has toys, a surplus of items, and even this cool merchandise for sale still. You can even participate in their Christmas in July toy drive. So the owners say to come down and get some great deals, but also come and say goodbye. Coming up next on Good Morning America as the NBA kicks off its first scrimmages in the bubble today. Three of the biggest names in the game are launching a major social justice effort. A lot of things that each one of us have done as individuals, but we see this as an opportunity not only for us to come together and make a bigger impact, but just continue to try to make real sustainable change. ABC's Michael Strahan spoke with some basketball all-stars and friends, Chris Paul and the recently retired Dwayne Wade, about their mission on the court and off as the season finally gets underway again. We'll be right back with a final look at your forecast coming up after a quick break. Stick around.